Hey guys, Wig, welcome back. Today I'm going to be uh, attempting to rid my frag tank of flatworms, which I've uh, shown in previous videos. I've managed to get flatworms in here. Um, they were pretty much all but gone before, but then uh, they've managed to come back. So they are in there, mixed in with all my corals, and I feel that they may be hurting them. So I'm going to go ahead and use some flatworm exit, which I've got right here. I uh, picked this up just for like 20 bucks at a local store and um, we will uh, see how it goes. So that's the package. This is a little uh, thing it comes with, just a little dropper thing. And here's some directions in case you're interested. This is, uh, you just pause it and read it where you want. Go like that so you guys can read it. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and replace the carbon on the tank when I'm uh, all done. And because uh, that's what it calls to do. So I've got some right there, which my protein skimmer has a carbon cartridge inside it. Um, so I'll replace that. First things first, we're going to go ahead and dose the tank with the appropriate amount of drops, which was dun -dun -dun -dun, said here somewhere. Four drops for every five gallons. It's a 30 gallon tank. So, uh, sorry, was that uh, times six? So, t t 24 drops. And um, I've left just a power head on, both filters. The filter is off and the skimmer. So, um, I'm going to go ahead, put those in, and then we're going to let it sit for um, half hour, 45 minutes before I come back. And we should start seeing them dying off if I could ever focus this. There we go. Anyhow, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and add my drops now, and we will see how it uh, plays out. you got to love modern phones and technology. They're great picture, but they're shit for focusing. But uh, yes, and the tank is an absolute mess right now. Um, so we will uh, we'll take care of this, and let's hope for the best. All right, so now this stuff has been in here for about five minutes or so, if even. And I can already see the uh, they're getting agitated, they're blowing around, these things barely move at all. And I can see that they're already bothered by the addition of the, um, the chemical. So let's uh, continue to wait, and we're going to hope for the best for my uh, couple of peppermint shrimp in here as well. Because they did mention that, you know, if you dose too much that it can be harmful to them. But I only did 25 drops, so... I threw a bonus drop in, but you you can double dose on this stuff and still be considered safe. So I just went with the single dose, and uh, we're gonna hope for the best. I see them on the black back wall, moving around. Let's see if you guys if I can focus. There they are. You can see they're very agitated, um, quite nasty actually, and. I feel bad for my corals being like this is why I'm doing it. If you see like some of the some of them aren't doing so well. And then other things are doing great. But um let's let's hope for the best. So I'll come back in uh you know 20 20 minutes or so and we'll see where we're at at that point. This guy's new to my tank right up front here if I can ever focus it on it. No. Oh, there we go. Anyway, did you hear something? All right, so let's let it sit, and we will see what happens. Okay, well, I had a little more than I thought. Look at the tank now. This is a few minutes later since I last showed, and um, I ended up turning the f one filter back on just to try to capture some of them because I'm going to have a hell of a time sucking these out. But um, look at them all under there. I didn't realize it was that bad. But... Um, you, you can't say the stuff doesn't work. I'll give it that. Wow, it looks like it's freaking uh, winter in there. So, uh, all right, let's keep waiting. Okay, so now about half an hour has uh, passed by. The water in person is pretty foggy. I know it doesn't necessarily look that foggy on the video, but it is actually pretty foggy. Um, and so my next step, what I'm going to do is use the power head right there and try to blow off like the rack and, and stuff like that. I know some of my stuff's gonna blow around, but um, I got a bit of cyano there, 
or cyano. I don't know if it's cyano or cyano. Um, either way. But what I'm doing right now is just trying to free off any dead ones that are stuck. Um, if any are alive still, they ain't happy. Um, but I don't want to leave this stuff too much longer because I can always follow this up with a repeat treatment if needed. You know, in a week or so. I don't want to... Obviously, my goal is not to lose these. These corals, that is. Come on, little plate land. Um, I want to uh, tr try to go as easy on them as I can. But um, I'm not 100% sure that one treatment is going to be enough. And as you can see, that's a lot of debris. Um, it was definitely time for a good cleaning anyway. And uh, we'll figure it all out. This is probably like the biggest uh, frag tank no-no, stirring up all this crap like this. But, but in my opinion, it's got to be done. Oh, look, it jumped out of the water. The power head, you guys didn't see it. I went over the cross member there, the brace. But, um, yeah, so now I just want to really do some good stirring up. I actually, in between recording there, I went and grabbed a pump and a filter sock. Do the old trusty uh, sock and tube there. It's, uh, it's It gets some of it out. I just figured it would help. And then, um, like I said, I turned on that, uh, the bio wheel pump. I'll go ahead and I'll change the filter out. I've got a new filter. I, don't, I won't change the wheel because it is my biological part. But, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll do that too. Um, before this is all over with. Right now I'm just trying to get everything I can off before I start the water dump. I'll be back. Okay, here I am back. Now the tank's had a few minutes to kind of settle a little bit. I've already got one five gallon jug right there and another right there. And we're gonna go ahead and start siphoning now. So I do it like this. If you guys remember I showed you on a tip, just put your hose where you want it dunk that in and start lifting it up a bit so I'll and just then, um, keep on trying to suck whatever I can off the bottom here all the small stuff I don't I'm not too worried about all the dead pieces of coral and stuff that build up I can worry about that later but I'm gonna continue doing this just to get all the fine because what I'm obviously after really is the dead bodies that release the uh, the toxins now I'm going to follow this water change up in a day or two with another one just to uh, help be certain and uh, that's the jug almost full, it's getting there uh, I'm just going to move, oops sorry guys, move that over and I want to try to get one side only on this per jug, that way I know that I'm getting enough for everything. Sorry it's hard to do this and hold the camera but anyhow the more the better and get as much of it up right now it doesn't look like I'm actually sucking any extra stuff up and I gotta hold you guys on while I stop that because it's full. I'll be right back. Alright so I skipped past the um you guys draining the second bucket with me just because it was uh, kind of a pain to hold the camera and do it and concentrate on what I was trying to clean up but uh, so now we're at the uh, add water back in segment um, nice clean water in there uh, use uh, reef crystals in case anyone actually wondered um, and we'll see how everything uh, reacts to this hopefully well um, hopefully that's most of them off the uh, off the racks and anything that is in there is hopefully just dead um, obviously the glass is really dirty and water drips all over it and stuff right now but we'll um, we'll go ahead and see how this turns out and hopefully I will be back with some good news if we can focus here man I have a lot of problems with that there we go and uh, yeah we're definitely gonna hope for the best it's obviously way too early to tell how this is going to work, but uh, I will definitely let you guys know.
Okay, guys, here we are. Now it is the next morning. Um, so far, from what I can tell, I think we have eradicated the tank of flatworms. There doesn't seem to be any left. There is some, uh, some definite loss of color in coral. Um, I don't think it's dying. I, I think that just uh, it's taken some elements out of the water or something like the plate coral is not as bright, both of them. Um, not, not nearly as vi vivid as they were. So I'm going to have to um, go ahead and I'm going to add essential elements because I, I do have lots of that. And um, so I'll, I'll try that and maybe some fuel. I got some fuel that adds some fatty stuff into the, the tank and hopefully that'll solve it all. And uh, we'll see. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, if you've watched all that. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to making more videos in the future. See ya.